Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. Thanks so much for joining me today for this painting tutorial. Today we're working on an 8x10 double primed and stretched canvas and I've got a few colors here. I'll have a full list below in the description box of this video. White, neon red, yellow warm, light olive green, hunter green, uh, bright aqua green turquoise, phthalo blue, brilliant purple, burnt sienna, and dioxazine purple. I'm going to begin with a number 30 brush, filbert brush, and I'm going to just wet down the canvas a little bit. Okay, so I'm going to start with some dioxazine purple. And I'm just going to bring it in on the left side. And I'm going to go into some blue, phthalo blue, and start overlapping. Then into turquoise. I haven't washed my brush off. And then I'm going to go into my purple again. Far right side. And a little bit more phthalo blue. Overlapping again. And turquoise. Just gonna brush what's left and brush out what's left in my paintbrush here with a little bit of water. Just work that paint out. And then just start blending first on an angle, then straight up, and then on an angle down here. I'm going to do is use my number 10 angle brush. I'm going to take some white, a little bit of water, and I'm going to start on the top pulling a few little sun, sun streaks and sun rays. The brightest in the center and then just a few that come out on an angle. I rinse my brush off, come back into my white, and I'm gonna start adding some waterfalls. Just placing my brush either straight across and down or on an angle, pull, You can add as many tears as you want. Then down on the bottom, I'll just pull up a little bit like this. And then slide my brush back and forth, creating little ripples and highlights in the water. A few little taps here and then gentle tap, 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 and then Pull and flick up from the bottom up. A little bit of a splash and movement. And add a little bit more white. Okay, for the next brush, a one inch oval mop brush. I'm not gonna get it wet, I'm just gonna apply um, just paint directly to it. I'm gonna take Hunter Green and Dioxazine Purple. And I'm going to start adding some taps along the side like this, leaving some spaces so we can see those pretty colors. Mix up a little bit more here. I'll come in and do the same thing from the other side. right from the top right corner here. 
and left. I'm going to pull this one out just a little bit closer to the center. And I'll pull out a little bit of that color and softly blend it. Pick up a little bit more. And this time I can make a few little stones in here by twisting over to create little half circles. We're just kind of pushing gently. Add a little bit more purple here along the side. Okay, the next color I'm going to add is a little bit of light olive green without washing my brush off. We're just going to add little highlights here and I'm just gonna pull and slide my brush Tap in a little bit more right there, and then pull. Pull and sweep. A little bit of white. Just take a little bit of that white and light olive green. Tap your brush out to load it. And right where these sun rays are going to be hitting, a little bit extra light. We'll add some moss covered rocks. I'm going to switch over to one of my filbert brushes. This is a number eight filbert. And I'm going to take a little bit of purple, dark seam purple, hunter green again, and add another layer over part of the highlights of moss I just added, just so we get a little bit more of a, a gradual highlight there and bring back that shadow and contrast that we have. Okay, so what I want to do is add a little house somewhere, a cozy little house. So I'm going to take some burnt sienna and I think I'm going to add hmm, maybe a little one right down here. Just a little cottage here tucked in. Take a little bit of white. Pull down into that burnt sienna. The clean brush, hunter green, a little bit of purple on there. I'm going to go above, outline that roof. I'm just going to give mine a little bit of curl and a bit of a swirl there off the end just for fun and then I'm going to add the little taps down in here a little bit of light olive green and I'm going to add little highlight here, tapping. A 
and pulling and sliding my brush. Then with a clean brush, I'm just going to gently sweep a little bit more white from the from the top here. Just add a few more highlights on my waterfalls here. Let's add a little bit of light olive green. Wash my brush out and just blend that in a little bit more. Back over to more white. Don't be afraid to add a little bit more waterfalls and ledges. You can always come in and add more at any time. And then add a few ripples down here in the water and some light. Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and add a little staircase, purple and dioxazine, or dioxazine purple and burnt sienna. I'm gonna have a little stair there, start making them a little bit wider. Come down Have them come down here to these stones. Okay, then I'm going to take a little, little bit of purple burnt sienna and we'll add a little light to the tops of our steps. I think I, we need a little railing here, so I'm going to take my dioxazine purple again, and we'll just come around a little above, then bring it in here. I'll take a little bit of both my greens without washing my brush and tap in. A little bit of moss covered railing here. While I'm doing this, I'm just going to pull down a few of the, the posts on my railing. I think I'm going to just make this railing a little shorter. And with dioxazine purple, a lot of shadow on these little posts. We'll bring another step down to go over our, our rocks in the water and flatten them out. Maybe they'll be little stepping stones. And then I'll take a little bit of purple, light olive green again. Okay. 
I've got a little round brush here. This one is a size one. I'm going to get it a little bit wet and I'm going to take some white, a little bit of neon yellow. And I think I'm going to add some windows in here. And one bigger one right there. Maybe a couple little ones that go up the side like that. I'm going to take a little bit more white because I know it's going to dry a little bit darker. So to counteract that, I'm just going to do this ahead of time. You can go back later on and add a little bit of white. You'll see that it'll dry a little bit darker. And then because of that light from the windows, we're going to add a little bit to the steps here. And then as we get a little bit lower down, I'm going to add, gradually add some uh, burnt sienna. Okay, and I'm going to add a few little shutters here. I'm going to use some bright aqua green turquoise. I'm just going to do two simple little lines on either side. And then I'm going to take a little bit more of the neon yellow and light all the green, bit of white. And I'm going to tap on top of the railing here for some brighter highlights. can add a few leaves here and there, even a little bit of this mossy color. Okay, I'm going to add some windows down here on this little house. Use a little bit of neon red with my yellow and white. I'm going to add a few little ones off to the side there, the other side of the house. And maybe just a little one here, one for the door. And a couple, well, three <laughs> on the top. We will have a little loft way up there. Okay, with the rest of my paint, I'm just going to add some light in front of the house here, in front of the front door. And we could add a little chimney, a little dioxazine, burnt sienna, right about there. And a little bit of, a little bit of white like that. And then just soften it with your finger or a brush. And just outline. some trim around the doors here with my purple. So we'll just add a little bit of this purple in between. We'll add a little window right in there. Okay, I've got a little round stipple brush here, and I'm going to take a little bit of Doxazine purple, a little bit of phthalo blue. 
And I'm going to add some little bushes and flowers around our house. Then a little bit of, of the brilliant purple, or if you don't have that, just add a little bit of white. And just add some highlights. And we will have some flowers going up the side here. Take a little bit of white that together makes a nice color too add those colors again purple and blue back over to my liner brush a little bit of white a little bit of warm yellow I'm just gonna add a few little lines here lines for highlights and a little bit just a little bit more smoke I'm going to tint it with a little bit of that purple. Okay, I'm going to add some red. Just going to use this brush for a little bit and then I'm going to switch over to another one. We've got a big maple tree here. I'm going to use one of my fan brushes. This is a zero. And just take some red, no water, just straight red. And on an angle, and then turn, tap and turn. And go right over part of that green but see how important it is to have that those darker colors underneath for the shadows and then i'm going to add some on this side too then into my warm yellow mixed with the red and a little bit of both and again on an angle tap 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 We've got some falling down here, a few leaves here and there. I just want to have a little bit more smoke. It's just starting to fade a bit, so I'll go back 
or some white, blue and purple. There, just wanted a little bit more. And then I'll tap a little bit for some highlights here on these bushes. And I'm going to add a little bit of uh, turquoise in between for my shutters. Just another place to add some color. I've got this area in here. I'm just gonna take a little bit of yellow and light olive green, a little bit of white, a little bit more of the olive green, just a tiny bit of that yellow. And I'll start tapping in a little bit. Just let this show up a little bit more. I'm going to add a tiny house, another little house here, add the roof line, sweep down, a little bit of that yellow, a little bit of white. the front of the house like that and then we'll add a few tap 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 for some windows and then a little bit of the purple make this roof line a little thicker we'll add a little chimney Clean brush, a little bit of white, wiggle, 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 and just gently soften. And then I'll take a little bit more light purple and add that to the roof. I think I just want to have. One more window back there, and then maybe one in the front. So the front of the house is lighter. I'll, I'll add a little window on the top and right there. And I'll add a little door. A little bit of purple there. And then with my little stipple brush, I'll add some bushes just down here. And maybe a little bit of light olive green. And a little bit more moss to the top of this rock or rocks. And a few leaves. I'm going to add some light colored moss, light olive green, a little bit of that warm yellow on the roof, like we have a little bit on here as well. It'll just help my house stand out a little bit more. 
and then a little bit of burnt sienna. And I'll add a few little birds. I'm just going to use some white and just two or three like this, just a few. A little bit of purple, burnt sienna, hardly any paint on my brush, very thin. A bit of a shadow. And the final touch. A little bit more light in these windows. And take a bit of purple again. And Add a line and across through the windows. I'll just add one through there. These ones are a lot smaller. Okay, I'm going to call this painting all done. This was so much fun. Hope you guys enjoyed it and want to paint along. Don't forget to subscribe and join Patreon for more. Thanks so much and I'll see you soon. Bye!